Hello guys, Cliff Clifton here from Evolved. Um, I've decided today to come to one of the hardest lakes in Lincoln uh, called Bo Booton Park. It's a lake that's been neglected for nearly 40 years. Um, belongs to the council, used to belong to Lincoln and District AA but Lincoln gave it up when the, the council didn't do any work to it. So it's got about 40 years of silt on it, in it, and um, well, it's very difficult fishing. There are one or two big fish in it, um, so we'll, uh, especially tents, so we'll see if we can get one. Um, if I just turn the camera around, I'll show you the lake. It looks, looks absolutely beautiful and I'll just show you the lake and believe it or not we used to have matches on here and they were very well attended and you know, it's where a lot of the local kids um, used to learn learn to fish, basically, you know, as young teenagers and that, but, uh, and it was a safe environment, but unfortunately, it, as I say, it's just been neglected over the years. Uh, my bait for today, um, basically, I've just brought some maggots, some dead reds, I've got me ground ground bait there which is the sweet fish meal gold and sweet fish meal black 50 50 mix um from evolved baits i've got my micro pellets that i did uh, the night before a bit of corn a bit of uh, earth who um expanders i've chose six mil expanders uh because they are big fish in here if you do get them so I'm not missing a boat with them I've also got some amino wafters um, the 7 to 8 mil size which are really good if you have a look at them uh, brilliant for spiking or banding um, everything I've put a good dose of the uh, amino liquid Choco cream in. I absolutely swear by that. Um, as you probably know, aminos are a really proven fish attractor. And uh, that's uh, it's worked for me anyway. That's all I can say. It works for me. All right, guys. I'll catch you in a bit, and uh, I'll show I'll show you me rigs later. Oh, and me feeder rig. All right, guys. Bye for now. Right, as promised, I'll just show you my rigs, guy. On my guys, on my feeder, uh, I'm starting off. Just got three old cage feeder with just a flat bed to a twizzle boom that just kicks it out, if you can see that, just kicks it out from the feeder, down to a 60 centimetre hook length of 0.15 Preston Reflow power, and that is a size 12 Chinta hook. The Chinta hooks are a little bit different. It's more more like a small 14, that is. But it's a very strong, fine wire hook. Okay, guys, and now I'll show you my pole rig.
Right, we've got two pole rigs are exactly the same if I start from the this Chianti style and that is a that this is my heavy rig uh, which is a 0.4 float a county style float uh, and down at the business end the main line is 0.17 because as I say there are some big fish in here and I've just got a spread bulk just above my hook length my hook length is 0.15 again down to a chinta hook 12 right and the other rig is exactly the same as that I like using the starts if I need to spread them out I can it's easy and I, I, I know people moan about the moving and that but it really doesn't bother me I just like I just like the presentation it gives in this sort of fishing and um, I can move in move, move them about without damaging the line all right guys well I best start fishing and right guys my uh, plan of attack today is I've already fed two pole lines one straight out in front of me at 13 meters with the option to go a little bit further if I need to and one at 13 meters right to my left and that I put a little bait in a bit of bait in there hopefully a few fish might settle over them and I plan to fish the feeder for an hour just to get a little bit of bait in there because I say I'm only feeding this fishing small cage feeder just to get a little bit of bait in there and um, hopefully the plan will come together and it will work I'll tell you a little bit more about the lake uh, the lake's man-made it was built by the Ellison family um, the Ellison family they also they used to have the rights for sh shipping on the Fosdyke Canal in between the Trent and Lincoln uh, it used to be a massive estate with a manor house on it the manor house was um, demolished in the either the late 50s or early 60s I think um, and it was a vast estate they owned lots of lands, land that um, is now built on but the park and the, there's lots of grassy areas and there's a cafe as well so really nice place to come in and visit if you're ever in Lincoln all right guys bye for now Well guys, I've had a bite first put in, that is a surprise, must, must have dropped on its head, not sure what it is, feels like a decent fish. Very welcome indeed. Well, 
lovely fish. There we go, guys. I'm showing to you. There we go, look at that. That's a lovely fish, guys. There we go. I'm very happy with that. Hey, that's what fishing's all about. Enjoy it. Enjoy yourselves. Yeah, I love him. Down a long way. There we go. Another way. Here we go, guys. Very happy with him. Bike came on exactly eight minutes, guys. So, that's why I always use stopwatch. But you know, if it's good enough for the top lads, it's good enough for me. We'll get back out there. Don't forget, guys, just clean all the. All the gear off. That fell to two dead reds. That tension did, guys. So, no reason to change. I'll go out with the same. All I'm doing is. Just fucking the first maggot through the skin of the blunt end and the next one just through the point of the maggot. Just so we're like that. Okay, it helps to avoid spin ups as well guys, it does when you hook them like that. And all I'm doing in the feeder, I'm just putting two or three dead reds and a few micros. And we'll get back out there. 